Okay, so we're in a, a two family. It's gonna be a two system replacement and uh, two water heaters at the same time. Um, it's been a break in and um, we've had uh, theft take place. So I'll just, um, I'm actually at the back of the um, basement. Uh, and this system that I'm looking at actually services the first level. Looks like with the panning, that's the return there. Um, so yeah, new return drop. And I've got the uh, pipe. And then we're going to need a new furnace, new base, um, new plenum. You can see the line set all, almost makes it down. Looks like it's in good shape, so we'll you know reuse what we can. And just need a braze on um, for that last part into the A coil. Gas is here. This one's set up for uh, direct venting, so like, we'll stay with that on this one. This is again for the first level. And the one that's servicing the second level is actually the one closest to the street. Street's out, um, I'm actually facing the street now. So this one was set up for 80%. Liner looks like it's in bad shape. So we'll come back with a new liner. I'm gonna pop outside and see how tricky that is. If it's tricky, we'll come back with an 80%. Same deal, um, new return drop, new um, base. Furnace, um, A coil plenum, gas is here. We just need to, um, you know, reconnect on. Actually, looks like it's okay. Um, and then, as far as the drain, this one on the line set, it's actually missing. They cut it off. You can see where they cut it off, like kind of right in, kind of close to that um, furnace and AC that's taking care of the uh, fair level. So we should be able to hook on and to just run it through. You probably need about another 15, 20 feet to get to it. And then the drain, the drain's at the back. That's where everything's running to on the ground. It is a walkout. And then you've got the two panels, um, which are labeled. So you've got one for the second. And then one for the first level so we'll be putting a new fuse disconnect new whip and i'm going to pop outside and have a look but uh pretty good access for the water heaters they're going to be electric and see the and actually the electrics on everything um you can see the conduit that's dropping down to nothing so that's going to need to be redone um just going back to both of these okay yeah, so we need to tidy up the electrics um, for both the furnaces and then also for the water heater as well. Um, looks like it's just been run with PVC piping, um, both water heaters, so, you know, expansion tanks, valves, and then we're just going to locate them, you know, kind of, you know, right, you can kind of see where the plumbing needs to come down and feed them. That's it.